habari gani mzuri sana wageni mwakaribishwa Kenya yetu hakuna mata Ma mata <laughs> Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm, I'm very sorry for that. This has already been such an incredible day. It's 2 p.m. We've already come here from Nairobi. We've already checked into our room. We've already gotten a video uploaded that we started making yesterday. And then this is the environment we get to enjoy this in. Welcome to our beautiful room in Baobab. This is the entrance right here. And the first thing I'm gonna show you is the bathroom because it is enormous. There's a bidet, toilet, gigantic shower, two sinks, massive amount of space in here. Very surprising for a room this size. We have a key enabled air conditioner, which is overhead, very, very pleasant and very, very necessary on the Kenyan coast. Mini fridge, TV, work area. This room has two beds, a ceiling fan, hangout living area here. They give you some water, kettle, coffee, perhaps the best part, check this out. A little living area out here, right over here is three different pools. There's one, then a layer below is waterfall into another one, then a layer below is waterfall into another one. That one on the bottom layer has a swim up bar. But then there's a different pool, and then there's another pool. I think so many I can't even keep track of. And oh, there's an ocean there too. We're given very clear instructions to keep these doors closed at all times when we're not here because we'll have visitors. Monkey visitors. So it's 7.44 and we're going to dinner. We came and we freshened up and now we say we go to dinner. Even though it's like late at night, walking down here, really the waves, you can hear the sounds from the, you know, like that is the ocean. Like literally, that is the ocean. Our home is way far from where we're going to eat dinner, but it's like the walk is amazing. So we just got to the place where we're gonna have dinner. It's a buffet menu and this is an all-inclusive. We're gonna go see what food they have. What is a ragu? I'm sad though. I'm already full. We just finished our breakfast and we're about to go snorkeling. It's 10.02 and we need to get there really fast. is all the way full, it can be up to 100 meters. Robinson Island is a part-time island. Nothing that you see here will be above water very shortly. So it's not a place you can stick around for very long. Ethan found us this beautiful adventure. We had a little early afternoon adventure where we went for a walk on Robinson Island. Which right now is not there. Which doesn't exist right now. We saw all this cool ocean life. 
and then we went snorkeling. Which you guys didn't see because we didn't want to take our phones there. We're just about to go have lunch and then we have something else coming up after. How do you feel final day leaving here? Oh, I don't want to leave. We've got this gap in between checkout is right now and our flight's not for another few hours. And we are going to do something that we're going to feel amazing about. And we're going to love it. And it's going to just be an incredible day. Because even though we're leaving here, we have something that's even better at the end of our day. And that is Zuri. How is Zuri? I just really had a good time. I feel like this is really much needed. And being here, I didn't feel like I had the need to go anywhere. Thanks for joining us on this incredible adventure. And now finally it's time to head back to Nairobi to see our Zuri. Yes. We're so excited about that. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe for more and comment down below anything exciting. And share. Yeah. All right. Muzuri <laughs> sana. Wageni mwakaribishwa Kenya yetu hakuna mati Ma Makati <laughs> Sorry 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 I'm, I'm very sorry for that <laughs> Somebody told me you are coming in the morning oh That's God. why I prepared I have prepared myself Why don't you give me some congratulations Okay thank you Congratulations Thank you Did you make this boat Abdul? Yeah uh, to be honest me, I'm working as a society. We are 25 people, so they are only by the Congo Self Help Group Boat Tours. So, remember also what we get here normally, the widows they are getting 30%, and also we share all 25 people. Uh, our aim to form this group is to clean the river with plastic, planting new mangroves, and also cleaning the beach, and also to make sure that there's a big security at the river and also at the ocean. Here we make the boat. Normally, we buy tree because all the, our boats, they are made of mango tree. We buy a tree and then we, we dig or we chip it by ourselves three months. You guys planted this? Yes. Amazing. Yes, we have planted those male mangroves or we call them green mangroves. Wait, Merle, 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 life is just a...